Hello, welcome to today's video where we will be exploring techniques to compute eigenvalues that appear time and time again on the GRE math subject test. And our example will be the following. Find the eigenvalues in the matrix 8, 1, negative 6, 6, 3, negative 6, 2, 1, 0. Okay, so the first thing to notice about this matrix is the sum of the entries along any row is 3. That actually means that 3 is an eigenvalue. Why? Well, let's take a look at the result of multiplying our corresponding matrix by the all ones vector. The entries in this product will be precisely the row sums of the given matrix because the dot product of the all ones vector with any row is precisely the sum of the entries in that row. And so the product of these two is the vector 333. And so 3 is an eigenvalue, and in fact, the all ones vector is the corresponding eigenvector. All right, so if we see a matrix whose row sums are constant k, we automatically get that k is an eigenvalue. Great, so we have one of the eigenvalues of this matrix. How do we find the other two? Well, two statistics of matrices will help us in determining the remaining eigenvalues. And those statistics are the trace and the determinant. The trace of a matrix is the sum of its diagonal entries. And in this case, the diagonal entries are 8, 3, and 0. And so the trace of this matrix is 11. The determinant can be computed using cofactor expansion. And in this case, the determinant of this matrix is 36. So we have the trace is 11 and the determinant is 36. But how does that actually help us in computing eigenvalues? Well, it turns out that in general, the determinant of a matrix is the product of its eigenvalues with multiplicity, and the trace is the sum of the eigenvalues with multiplicity. So if we let lambda 1 and lambda 2 be the corresponding remaining eigenvalues, we know 3 is an eigenvalue. The sum of the 3 lambda 1 and lambda 2 is going to be 11, because that's the trace. And the product of 3 lambda 1 and lambda 2 is going to be 36. So we can use those two equations to determine the remaining eigenvalues. Now the reason that the trace is the sum of the eigenvalues and the determinant is the product, you can get by analyzing the canonical, Jordan canonical form of this matrix. But we'll omit a proof and explanation of that in the video. At least we know what the formula for a trace and determinant are in terms of eigenvalues, so we can use it for the subject test. Okay, great. So the trace of the matrix was 11, and so the sum of lambda 1, lambda 2, and 3 is 11, whereas the product of lambda 1, lambda 2, and 3 is 36. And so we have two equations in the two unknown eigenvalues. Their sum is 8, and their product is 12. And we can quickly see that a solution to this system is letting one of them be 2 and the other one be 6. And so the remaining eigenvalues are 2 and 6. And there we have it. Some quick techniques to compute the eigenvalues of matrices. If you like this video, please click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel.